Welcome. It's game day in Houston, Texas. Paul Jones, Sherman Hamilton as the Toronto Raptors get set to take on the Houston Rockets in the second game of this tough three-game road trip. And Sherm, they're going to go it without one of their starters. Norman Powell, the hip injury still may have him on the shelf. Dwayne Casey says he's doubtful and probably won't play tonight. That means he's got options in terms of the starting lineup. Well, he does, and Dwayne Casey has been very good at utilizing his roster in terms of the least disruption as he likes to go with the starting unit. But Norm Powell being out in a game where there's going to be a lot of perimeter play defensively, he can have impact, but it's going to give other guys a chance to step up. And I really expect OG to get a lot of those minutes and be a guy who's relied on to defend a few different positions out there. All right, the three ball will be something that if you're going to watch the game or listen to the game tonight, just be aware of it. Houston, number one in the NBA in three point makes about 15 a game number one in three point attempts at just under 45 a game they're near the bottom in terms yeah. of percentage term but they work off volume and they, they shoot on average four mid-range shots a game that's it so we're talking layups free throws yeah. and threes and you got to be aware yeah and that's almost less than half of what they shot last year in terms of that mid-range but you think about their three-pointers made James Harden is leading the way in the league individually followed by his teammate Eric Gordon so you're looking at a team that values and puts a lot of emphasis on the three-point shot having said that you can't get caught up in that kind of game if you're the Raptors the last two times these teams met there was a lot of firepower but you got to control the tempo as much as you can and you don't want to be up against the wall trying to exchange threes for twos but you got to understand who you are and don't get caught up in that shootout with Houston. Mike D'Antoni's system even Houston Sherm he had people do that yeah. the wrong people on the other team taking the wrong shot wrong place wrong time and that kind of fed into their offense and they use it almost as part of their defense and sometimes their offense is their best defense but I, I think doing Casey talked about it today as well this is a situation where they're a bit more balanced defensively right. that second unit comes into the game and they have more of a defensive identity with guys who can still shoot the basketball so they've kind of retooled you lose a Patrick Beverly you bring in some real quality defenders and now you have a team that's more balanced so that you can mix them with the starters especially to end games when you're going to need stops as well as the offense. Well, they don't just shoot the threes from the line either. They oh. back way, way up at points, Sherm. You look and you say, you're not going to take that shot, and they will take it. It will be exciting tonight, folks. Trust us. You can hear right now what the players and the coaches had to say after practice. You got to stay a steady game, steady pace. Um, kind of the same way we did last year here. You know, even at home, we played a great game at home. It just, you know, we lost in the last couple minutes of the game. But, you know, understanding, picking and choosing your spots when to attack, when to be aggressive, when to be aggressive on them uh, defensively to try to make them miss. But, you know, we got to take advantage of all them long misses that, you know, that they will miss. You know, um, they average 44, shooting 44 threes a game. So it's going to be a lot of long rebounds out there for us to get out in transition and take advantage of. I think you just got to mix it in because just a habit is going to get in there. You're going to shoot the threes. You're going to get caught up in the up and down pace. But you got to be able to have a good job, a good balance of slowing it down sometimes and um, making sure you don't get caught up in that pace because their pace is ridiculous. The key is is you got to commit to it. You got to understand they're going to shoot 44 of them a game. They're going to miss. They're going to shoot 34 percent. And you got to understand you your job, your task is to get out and challenge each and every one of them as as, as hard as you can. Vault up, try to contest it. What happens is they hit a couple and and people lose their will, their resolve to keep playing hard. And how we beat them here last year, we played harder for 48 minutes. And that's what you got to do. You got to commit to it. And it's hard. Uh, this league is hard, but to go out and play a, 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 a great three-point shooting team like uh, Houston takes effort, it takes focus, it takes a commitment to go out and do it every possession because they're going to they're let it fly and you can't let it dis, you know, take your spirit or take your fight away from you. So the Raptors and the Rockets get set to get up and down tonight. You can see the game 8 o'clock on TSN and hear it on the radio side at TSN 1050 with Sherman and me.